In March 2020, the world shifted in a major way, and the Bay Area went into full lockdown as a first response to COVID-19. At the time, I was in my third quarter of my master's degree at Stanford. I found myself like the rest of the world, sitting at home, alone, with not much more to occupy myself other than my thoughts. As an international student, I also happen to be very far away from home and family, separated in both time and space. I found myself spending a lot of time talking to loved ones over the phone. For months, it seemed like I was existing in an endless loop of WhatsApp calls and voice notes. How's Jay? How are you doing? Um, uh, hey, I'm sorry when you messaged us night. Talking, listening, hearing. But anyway, this film is not about me or WhatsApp. It is, however, about the act of listening. During this period, I started to think more and more about how people, especially women, were being affected by this newfound isolation. Specifically those who had no one to talk to. I soon came across Exhale, a supportive pro-choice abortion hotline that was continuing its operations from the confines of the volunteers' homes. The hotline had always provided this portal for people who needed someone to listen, but I found this dynamic to be all the more impactful during a time when so many people found themselves stuck alone with no one to turn to. The entire film was shot at night from outside the volunteers' windows, and the audio was recorded over the phone. In the film, you watch as the volunteers listen, shrouded in the warm light emanating from inside their homes. These windows act as portals of light speckled over a city landscape shrouded in darkness during a dark time for so many people all over the world. At its core, Exhale's work revolves around the act of listening. And so this film is dedicated to the people who extend an ear when people are in need. I hope that you can listen in.